ladies and gentlemen, we've had a fantastic two days. At the, the start yesterday, I talked about uh, the foundation and I talked about the, uh, the call that went out to our group to help the victims in Victoria with the bushfire appeal. And um, the response has been simply overwhelming. And we've arranged and we're very, I'm very um, thrilled and pleased that he's been able to take the time. But the executive director of the Australian Red Cross here in Queensland has joined us. Uh, and I'd ask uh, Greg Goble to come forward. Where are you, Greg? Please give him a round of applause. One minute. Um, as I say, the, 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 the uh, response has been outstanding, and I know uh, it's, it's so little compared to what's going on, but it's certainly going to make a big difference. My pleasure on behalf of, of the group, the people in this room and throughout this organisation to present a cheque to Greg for $51,452.25. <laughs> Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is quite overwhelming. Can I say on behalf of people that you will probably never meet in your lives, uh, whose life has forever been changed, they will be eternally grateful. I thought I would just uh, spend a couple of minutes and just tell you, Monday was the uh, 26th anniversary of Ash Wednesday, when uh, 65 lives were claimed in Adelaide and in Melbourne. In 2003, we had enormous bushfires through Canberra. It took six months before the first brick was laid after that fire. And now we've had the Victorian bushfire where we've had something like um, 7,000 people made homeless, uh, a number of houses, about 1,800 houses, totally destroyed, and a lot of communities uh, simply wiped out. So the, the amount of money needed is going to be enormous. The Red Cross has so far raised $103 million. We know there's another $53 million. We estimate $200 million will be needed to scratch the surface to help these people. I thought I, on the way down, I, uh, I spoke to uh, one of our staff members that we flew down, who specialises in, um, in helping our people cope with the trauma. We send teams out in the field, and on Wednesday she told me she was at Kingslake the first time that a thousand people had been left back into Kingslake to see if their houses were there. And, uh, and our staff were affected by that because they did see bodies. But what she told me was interesting. In Kingslake there were 400 people who sheltered in the hotel. Unfortunately there wasn't a lot of room in the hotel for 400 people. So some people chose to stand outside the hotel while the fire went past. They all survived. But then those 400 people had to walk and see what remained and what friends they found. I've been involved in um, the Childers Backpacker disaster, telling parents overseas their loved ones would not arrive home. Uh, I headed up Cyclone Larry. I've been involved in the tsunami operations and whatever. I can tell you every disaster is very different. There is no disaster that is the same as the last disaster. But one thing I do know for sure is that people are very resilient. And the thing that helps people most is cash, because they can choose then to purchase what they want to purchase. And I know there's a, there's a great resistance for us to send our, our uh, you know, old electrical goods down or whatever. But we're an experienced organisation that works in disasters all around the world, and cash is what helps because it keeps the local economy going. It allows people to buy what they want to buy, and it gives them choice. I noticed, um, Mike, that, you're, uh, that the, the motto of the foundation was to provide support that helps grows and enriches communities. Well, you'll certainly do that. So can I, uh, can I thank you again on behalf of people that you and I will never meet, uh, we may have not even get to those towns, but they will be eternally grateful for the generosity that you have shown uh, today and I guess will continue to show um, throughout the coming uh, years. Thank you very much.
Uh, I did, did mean it. It's, um, I, I almost felt like we were wasting Greg's time. He had plenty that he should be doing, not coming down here uh, to receive that. So I do really appreciate you taking the time, Greg, to, to join us.